Dear friends welcome back to our channel Behind the Truth. Let's come to the point. The end as the beginning. It's a well known saying nothing comes from nothing if we now put this into a galactic context and exciting question arises how could the universe literally come into being from nothing for our terrestrial lives something can only be formed if components exist to build it but where did the material come from that made the hour of birth of the cosmos thus the big bang possible together with you we'd like to take a closer look at this profound topic today what do experts have to say about this central question and can it be answered at all with our current knowledge let's go in search of clues together excited about the groundbreaking discoveries and great mysteries of the universe then remember to subscribe to simply space and click the bell for regular updates on these exciting topics show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos the end as the beginning no matter if it's the big rip the big crunch or the big freeze even if theories differ from one another they all end in the same scenario the end of the universe if one follows these hypotheses then one day the last star in the cosmos will burn up afterwards the universe will change into a lightless place of emptiness in that dark epoch gigantic black holes will consume all remaining matter before finally evaporating themselves into a final act of destruction space will expand until even the faint light from the evaporating gravity monsters is too dispersed to interact and the activity of the cosmos will come to a complete halt at least that is a widely held view among scientists while many researchers regard such a process as the final end of our galactic home however some experts recognize in it something completely different namely the beginning of a new universe in fact some researchers are convinced that it was just such a dark cold and empty universe that was the basis of the big bang however before we go deeper into this exciting thesis we should first address another no less exciting question how did the first physical matter actually come into being if we want to explain the emergence of stable matter from atoms or molecules it becomes clear that nothing of the sort existed either during the big bang or in the millennia that followed what we do know is that the first atoms formed from simpler particles as soon as external conditions cooled enough to follow the formation of complex stable matter we also know how these atoms later fused into the stars to form heavy elements however our state of knowledge does not provide any information on how something can be born out of nothing so let's turn the cosmic will of time back even further protons and neutrons which together form the nucleus of atoms are considered the first long-lived matter particles in galactic history it's generally assumed that they were created immediately after the Big Bang before that however no matter existed in the classical sense fortunately physics allows us to trace the timeline back a bit further namely to those processes that took place before the birth of stable matter the Planck era within physics that era is called the Grand Unified Theory in detail this theory is based on the fact that at the time of the Big Bang three of the four known basic physical forces namely the strong the weak and the electromagnetic interaction existed in the form of a single unified force if we penetrate even deeper into this area of speculative physics we see that the physical world consisted of a kind of hodgepodge of short-lived elementary particles among them were quarks the building blocks of protons and electrons the relationship between matter and antimatter was balanced each type of matter particle had an almost mirror image counterpart made of antimatter if these two particles which differ from each other only in one aspect ever met they destroyed each other but how were these particles formed in this respect the quantum field theory says that even a vacuum considered the prime example of an empty space is in reality with physical activity this occurs in the form of energy fluctuations and can cause particles to appear only to disappear again consequently the vacuum of space-time is also characterized by such processes here two particles seem to appear out of the proverbial void if we stretch our central question further we come to another obstacle how then did space-time come into existence in this respect the Planck era impressively demonstrates to us that we eventually come up against insurmountable barriers with our physical theories in detail the conceivably short-lived Planck epoch covers the immediate period after the Big Bang at this point space and time themselves became part of quantum fluctuations the problem comprehensively understand the Planck era we need a complete theory of quantum gravity that unifies quantum physics with relativity M theory and loop quantum gravity are considered promising candidates in this regard here ordinary space and time are commonly regarded as emergent consequently what we perceive as space 
Time is in fact the result of quantum processes occurring at a microscopic level that is incomprehensible to us since our common understanding of space and time is no longer valid in the Planck era R. Classical conception of cause and effect also reaches its limits nevertheless all the theories devoted to the section describe something physical that was happening. At that time a kind of quantum precursor of space and time even if our understanding of causality does not apply in the Planck era it might be theoretically possible to fathom one component of that era with the help of another however our current theories are not capable of handling this challenging endeavor before the corresponding doctrines are fully developed we cannot make any generally valid statements about the central formation processes of the cosmos at present it remains to be stated that physicists don't know any confirmed cases in which something has formed from nothing creator multiverse or cycle since it is currently impossible for us to decipher the quantum state of the universe at the beginning of the Planck. All theories in this regard remain highly speculative some try to explain this central mystery by the influence of a divine creator other less religious explanations see the existence of a multiverse as the most promising approach according to this the cosmos would not be an all-encompassing construct but only a tiny link in an infinite chain of other universes on the other hand there are the cyclic models the corresponding theses are based on the fact that the universe is subject to a constant cycle of destruction and rebirth an exciting approach which has a prominent supporter with the Nobel Prize winner Roger Penrose the British physicist once led the theory of the conformal cyclic cosmology into the field if one follows the explanations of this expert there are striking mathematical parallels between the Big Bang and the distant end of the universe in fact these two states are even identical when they are brought to their limits the circumstance led Penrose to a hypothesis which seems extremely paradoxical it was the complete absence of matter which produced all matter in the cosmos from this point of view the Big Bang therefore originates from something which comes closest to the ominous nothing namely what remains when the matter of a universe has been annihilated by black holes that have subsequently decayed into photons but how is it possible that a cold empty universe corresponds to a hot dense universe from a mathematical point of view the answer to this question lies in a sophisticated mathematical procedure called conformal scaling this is a geometric transformation that changes the size of an object but leaves its shape untouched and indeed in this way it's impossible to scale the states of the universe so that the shapes of their space times coincide in other words the hot dense state exists because of the cold empty state thus the end of an expanding cosmos is eventually followed by a new big bang if you like this video please like share and subscribe